Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be talking about Jellyfin, the free and open source media server. So let's get started. So my obsession with self-hosting things started a few weeks ago. Um, I started purchasing Blu-rays and DVDs and just some other physical media. Um, and one of the big things, or the goal I had in mind, was to set up a media server. Um, so that way I could stream them to any of my devices, um, and it's really nice, you don't have to carry on the DVD or Blu-ray or anything, but you own your content, and you can kind of stream it anywhere, at least on your local network. Um, now, the big piece of software, typically, that people use is called Plex. Now, I started looking into Plex, I didn't really like it because it seemed to be pretty proprietary, not very open source. Um, there's kind of a lot of things that I didn't like. I really like open source projects. I run Linux on my main computer. I, you know, I just like open source projects. I write open source code. Um, so Plex was kind of out of the question. Um, plus, they also make you pay for something called Plex Pass to unlock a bunch of features that's part of Plex. Um, or even if you just want to use a mobile app, you either have to have Plex Pass or you have to pay an in-app purchase like six bucks or something like that. Um, which I just, I think is wrong. And I get that Plex is a business and that's fine, but I'm not a huge fan of that. The next option down the line is something called MB. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's the same idea as Plex, right? Except it's a little more open source. I guess parts of it are open source and parts of it are closed source. Still not a huge fan of that. Um, you know, there's a, you, you have to pay a subscription fee to use it, which I still not a huge fan of because the thing is I'm hosting it myself so I I just don't really want to pay a subscription fee and also I like open source um, so that led me to Jellyfin which is an open source fork of MB so it uses MB back when it was open source and they've built a bunch of great you know updates and, and features and stuff on top of MB making it a whole lot better Plus, it's 100% free and open source. We're talking the mobile app, the Roku app, desktop, everything. Free open source code, it's out there. There's no subscription fee or anything. So Jellyfin is really great. I've been using it for a few weeks now. I seem to have no issues with it. I'm running it on an original Raspberry Pi 3, so not the upgraded Pi 3. Um, and it seems to be running just fine. I can have two simultaneous streams, no problem. I haven't really tried anything more than that. I'm gonna be honest I'm just using one stream at once typically I did the two streams just as a test um, but it seems to run really great on a Raspberry Pi it's pretty easy to install all I did was install Raspberry Pi OS on the Raspberry Pi itself um, ran updates blah 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 and then I installed Jellyfin from their own repository um, this was a little different depending on the article you found online. There seems to be some sort of signing key you have to pre-install, which I found in one article but not another. Um, so that's something you'll have to do. Um, but other than that, once Jellyfin's installed, it's pretty easy to use. The only other issue I had was drive access, at least on my Raspberry Pi. I had to, um, when you install Jellyfin, it creates a Jellyfin user essentially. Um, and what you have to do is you have to give that Jellyfin user access to files on the drive using chmod. Um, and so that wasn't a huge deal. And then lastly on the Pi, I'm not sure if this is just because I set it up in headless mode or what, but I had to make an FS tab entry to allow the drive to just uh, mount at boot. So that wasn't a huge deal um, using the UUID of the drive and, and some FS tab commands. I was able to get that going. So now, you know, when I need to put new files on it, I just shut down the Pi using SSH, um, go pull the physical drive from it, copy my files to it, plug the drive back in, turn it on, and then it mounts the drive up. Jellyfin has access. Jellyfin takes a few minutes to import the files. Um, it seems to work automatically. I did have one time it didn't though. So um, your mileage may vary, but as soon as they're imported, they stream straight from the drive and it works really excellently. Um, I've had no issues with Jellyfin so far. Uh, their mobile app is, is fantastic. It appears to be a progressive web app, which is really nice because those really are the, the future of apps, progressive web apps. Um, it, it's basically the same UI as what you get on the website or the desktop client. Um, the one thing that I'll note that's a little different, the Roku app is a native Roku app, um, and it looks really good. It works really well. It's just a very simple Roku app that just works, which I really appreciate. There are a bunch of platforms that Jellyfin doesn't support yet. Um, I believe PlayStation 4, Xbox One, um, those aren't supported right now. I think you can do it through the web browser, but no native app. But 
I'm going to be honest, I think a lot of us have Roku's in our house. It seems to be a pretty popular platform. Um, and it just, it just works. I have no issues with it whatsoever. So yeah, Jellyfin seems to be a really great open source media server that allows you to just host your own files for, uh, you know, TV, movies. And one thing I didn't do, um, I know it has support for music and I think it has support for some other things. I am not self-hosting my own music yet. I have Spotify right now. I'm not sure how that's gonna go. Um, right now I'm just really working on self-hosting my own movies and TV shows. Um, one of the big things in the future that I'm looking for though is self-hosting websites, like pulling local copies of them and self-hosting them. There's some really cool projects out there to do that and I'll be making some videos in the future on that. But yeah, for now, uh, Jellyfin is great. It's been what I've been experimenting with for the past few weeks now. Um, and it seems to just do a really great job at exactly what it's supposed to do. And that's being a media server for movies, TV, music, all of that. So, yeah, I would definitely try Jellyfin out. Um, took me about two hours to install. And, yeah, it's great. I love open source projects like this, and it just works really well. Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions for me, drop a comment down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.